actually not doing too bad with the whole reviewing thing at the moment, being kind of on time, not incredibly late, actually filming and editing reviews. It's weird. It's really weird. So today I'm going to be talking about Graceling by Kristen Kishur. Now in this kind of fantasy world, we have some people who are born with graces and it is just some special ability. It can range from being, I don't know, really good at cooking or holding your breath underwater indefinitely or knowing what the weather's going to be or in Katza's case, killing. So Katza is basically able to kill anyone with her bare hands, really, and it's, it's pretty badass. I'm not gonna deny it. Then Katza meets this guy named Prince Poe and he's graced with combat or fighting. And after meeting him, things just kind of take off from there. So let's talk about this world. Now, I love the idea of graces. It's a really interesting concept. And I also love how there's a wide variety of them. It just, the limitations are pretty much endless. You could have a grace with practically anything, I'd assume. And that's pretty cool. But furthermore, they're not always what they seem and they can prove to be a lot more complex than they originally appear. And what I liked was the growth of the story and the characters, so it just, it got better and better and more happening because the beginning of the story I found it a little bit slow and when I put the book down I didn't feel an urge to pick it right back up again. I wasn't really drawn into the story until about a third of the way through. So now moving on to Katza, our main character. She was a very strong and independent female character and especially her mentality, her mental strength and her willpower, it really helped her push through difficult situations. But her determination and independence also led to some rants about various issues and her protestation in various situations, which I found to be probably her only annoying flaw. But I think it's thanks to her upbringing that Katza acts the way she does and feels a certain way about certain notions. Now this is one of the main issues that people seem to have with this book, yet although Katza's little rants were slightly annoying sometimes, it derived from a much deeper rooted cause. And I mean you become more understanding of this when you consider Katza's childhood because it wasn't one filled with joy and youthful innocence. Katza had to grow up really fast after discovering the nature of her grace and it also meant that a lot of people feared her. She had no friends with the exception of maybe one or two including her cousin. And she also lacked the presence of a motherly figure throughout most of her childhood. But basically she wasn't treated like the young girl that she was. So I believe that that's probably the main reason for a lot of Katz's rough edges and the way she thinks about certain issues. Okay, so Poe. I really liked Poe's character. He was a lot more complex than you first think. There's a lot more to him as you kind of get to know him. And this isn't a spoiler, but for those of you that have read this book, you'll know what I mean. But what happens to Poe, it, oh, it just, oh my gosh, it breaks my heart and I think it was that point in the story that I cried. Now when it comes to the villain, I would have liked to have seen a little more of his wrath. I don't necessarily mean see him more, have him more present in the story and interact with the main characters, because a villain who is unknown, distant or absent, but still manages to terrify our main characters and penetrate their veil of safety, it can be a lot more scary than one who is more present. Now with the villain in this story, he wasn't an active character really. He was kind of in the background and I would have liked to have seen a little more of his terror raining down on the characters. Just a little bit. When it comes to the writing, I thought it was really well done. It flows nicely. It's not too descriptive, but descriptive enough, especially when it comes to certain characters and their graces. And just overall, I think it paints a really good picture of the world in this story, the Seven Kingdoms. And also, I really liked the kind of dynamics that were alluded to in the story between all the kingdoms and everything, and who are kind of allies, who are not and just everything going on. We didn't go into too much detail about it, but I liked that that was still an aspect of the story because Katza kind of delves into a few of the kingdoms, but not all of them. So I like that we still get a bit of a background about the other ones, even though we haven't really properly been introduced to them. So I really, really enjoyed Gracing. I was getting a bit hesitant about it towards the beginning because I wasn't really getting invested in the story and everything, but it, it does get better. If you struggle with this, just wait it out. 
or put it down for a little while, come back to it, because the story does get better. I promise you. Well, unless you don't like what happens in the middle of it, then just, yeah. Okay, so I liked the story. <laughs> and I gave Graceling four out of five stars. What are your opinions, guys? Are you one of the few who don't like it? If so, what didn't you like about the story? I am curious to know. And yes, I guess that's all I have for you today. I will be back very soon, and bye!